Hello my dear Libros, this is your July and we'll start uh, with the bottom of the deck. You have seven of cups. Daydreaming, you will be so much, I don't know, so many wishes you will have. Like uh, even, I can warn you, maybe it can be some illusions also, but a lot of daydreaming. It's summer, <laughs> maybe that's why you will be dreaming a lot. Your own mood, your yourself, the first house, the sun. You will be so optimistic, like you will be shining for everyone. A lot of optimism. Um, uh, when we sure in ourself, even you, you will look better, you will look younger, you will look more fresh. Second house, finances. Economy, four of pentacles, there is no economy. Spending money, for those of you who are well, I mean, uh, who are rich enough, you will be really spending like crazy. You will not think about this, uh, this pieces of papers called dollars. Uh, I don't care, <laughs> I spent all of them, I spent how much I want. So it's a little bit like not very wise. Even those of you who are not very rich, you will be really like, um, yes, you have these risks, uh, like spend more than you should. Be careful about this. Think about, not only about today, also about tomorrow. Third house, <clears throat> communications and short travels, six of wands. Some sm <clears throat> small but nice news. A lot of uh, walking and going somewhere, like short travels, short trips. And um, I think it will be some positive news that you will get through communications. A lot of information coming to you. Also from your family, of course. <clears throat> Fourth house, it's our family, home and family, Ace of Cups. A lot of emotions, happiness, uh, nice atmosphere. But with this sun, it's so understandable. Like you feel happy. You are happy. You feel... Uh... You know, I have been thinking, for those of you who are currently coupled, strange cards, really strange spread. <laughs> because this ten of... Pentacles in reverse in the seventh house and all this sun and ace of cups. I, I don't know how to explain it But anyway ace of cups, it's a lot of emotions. It's also can be when uh, we for example Love our partner more than he does or opposite, our partner love loves us more than we do. Like someone is loving, another one uh, allow him or her to love <laughs> themselves. It can be also like this. Fifth house, pleasures, children, hobbies, lovers, the hierophant. Mm. When we're talking about lovers and flirt, hierophant, I don't think it's much uh, to, <laughs> there is flirt there. If uh, some of you, if you have a lover, it can be relationship which are stable, almost like marriage already. With the children, you will be very traditional. Any uh, hobbies, any public appearance will be also, you'll be very like... Uh, uh, right, traditional, uh, dressed in the classical costume and all this stuff because this is traditions, traditions what uh, have place in uh, hundred years they have been like this so a lot of traditions in the fifth house also when it comes to pleasures like you stick to more traditional thing uh, stuff Sixth house, uh, it's our daily routine and health. Knight of Swords, uh, it can be some pain sometimes, maybe some mm, like mm, yes, 
I don't know another word, pain sometimes, but it's general and it doesn't have to apply to everyone. When it comes to relationship with co-workers, it can be conflicts, yes, maybe someone is critical to you, maybe you are critical and you trying to make things right, but in the very tough way. Fem love and relationships. Ten of uh, Pentacles in reverse. When it's upright, you know, it's um, the whole family together. They stick together as one. There is grandparents, uh, parents, children. They are all together. They are, I don't know, it's uh, they united. And when it's in reverse, it's like... Uh, there is no union. Something is going wrong. Like uh, of course, it can. If you are uh, splitted with your, if you divorced recently, then it's understandable. You are so with this seven of uh, cups. You uh, have a lot of dreams. You want something from life, you are very optimistic, happy, you're making new fresh start, maybe even you moved in the new place and then it's uh, your previous relationships, your ex. But if you are in the relationships, this Ten of Pentacles can uh, say that there is something what is between you and your partner? Mm, it's even not misunderstandings. I don't feel it like misunderstandings. It can be something else. But something are not together. Something are split it a little bit. I don't know what it can be. But uh, some kind of... Like you are not the one with your partner for some reason. You don't feel it at least. You don't feel it in July. Or maybe your mood, your own mood, maybe you are, you are very traditional, very right. You want uh, things to be your way. Uh, you have to be everything so much fair. And if your partner doing some uh, not very nice things, maybe you like, uh, feel, I'm not with him. <laughs> <clears throat> he or she is by themselves. Uh, house of Danger, the Magician, 8th house. Uh, magician, I think that uh, for you, you are complete master of your life. And if you will be um, thinking clear and do right things, it's up to you. Will something happen to you or not? I mean, when we're talking about some danger, dangerous things. But I think by magician you will be very reasonable, very clever and wise. <coughs> Using your abilities in the right way. Checking everything if you're doing some risky sport or something like this. You will be very careful. And also, <coughs> because this is a house of magic, maybe some uh, Libras will be interested in some um, magical things then we come into the ninth house and you have to be careful because this is our spiritual growth this is our how you call it uh, spiritual teachers so if you got interested in magic and you oh, it's so uncomfortable here uh, you are interested in something and you want to learn something. You're trying to find some courses or school, uh, some spiritual uh, courses. Be careful because there is a lot of them. Be choose wisely because the moon in, re in the reverse, it can be really wrong, wrong way. Uh, wrong teaching. <laughs> Going nowhere in the places where we must not be. So be careful about this. Also, as a spiritual growth, the moon 
uh, upright it's when we going through our fears we see them we understand them we're trying to accept them we're trying to look into their eyes in i mean in the eyes of our fears we learning them we're trying to understand them why i'm afraid of this what uh, caused me where this fear come came from and when it's in reverse it's like no 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 i'm not going there i don't want to know anything about it i'm so happy i'm jumping and running around <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this month you don't want to go there and look more deeply in, into your fears. Also about long distance travels, uh, the moon in the reverse, it can be very like unlucky trip. Maybe you will be very unsatisfied with this trip. Uh, maybe because of weather, maybe because of service, anything. But it's like unpleasant. Mm, I feel it this way. Uh, your reputation, Knave of Pentacles, uh, people see you as a very person who trying to do things in the right way. It's a good reputation, but in some ways they like in the first place, maybe because you feel so good this month, uh, you look uh, younger than you are actually. Uh, and also if you trying to find some job and you really badly want it you like um, looking all over around for the work or for some a particular place you want to get it uh, people seeing that you are waiting for this uh, promotion for this job because this is card of student so people think that you are younger than you are but uh, you are very like good guy <laughs> good go boy or girl friends uh, 11th house friends it's ace of wands here wonderful card uh, because it's like or it can be when you're meeting somebody new and you get friend you're getting friends with this person uh, also, it can be some fresh start uh, with you with one of your old friends, but like you see, you have a lot of uh, conversation. You are inspired by these relationships. You giving each other so much, uh, or maybe this person telling you something, bringing you some news that you making you really happy, uplifting news. So it's a good relationship, relationships with the friends this month for you, Libras. And uh, in the 12th house, the Hanged Man, like some things will be unavailable for you in July. And this is like karma because uh, you are not ready yet. Something, I don't know. You can't get something, but because you have to be patient, like you force it to wait for something. But it doesn't matter. You will be so happy. This sun, <laughs> it's a wonderful card. So, dear Libras, stay happy. Enjoy July, enjoy summer.